Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Ravenport map. We are just bombing down the road over here with the Combine to get ready for our next little bit of harvest. Now, I was going to... I was wondering whether to save the straw for this, for the horses and that, but I don't think we will because we've got a few extra um, bales and stuff that we already went and got. So we don't need to worry about that. So what we will do instead is... Wait, am I pressing, I'm, uh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Let me, let me go to... I need to have that one selected. There. That one doesn't have a visual change, does it? Uh, enable... Right, it should be disabled then. So in theory, we should be able to kickstart off today's episode, which I realise is not the beginning of the week for you, right? The, the Tuesday's episode, for me... The Farming Simulator episode on a Tuesday is the very first recording I do for the week. So sometimes it's a little bit slower than some of the others because I've yet to fully wake up and sort of get into things. And other times it's, you know, it's quite lively and so on. I've had an amazingly fantastic piece of good news this morning, which... I can't really talk about, but, um, I, yeah, I, I can't really say anything about it, except that it's, it's not something that affects the channel, um, just, I, it's just an amazing, amazing, awesome, good piece of news that I've had that has set me on, I, I suspect, a fantastic mood. For the entire week, which is absolutely awesome. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to go once around the outside of the field. I don't think we'll worry about doing too much more of that just at the moment. We can always go back and we can do a little bit of tidying up with our combine afterwards if we need to. But for now, we'll just do once around and hope that that's kind of enough to do most of the turning that we'll need to do. Um, we'll get a tractor with a trailer on point here so that it can unload the combine as and when we need to. And then we're going to be going back and looking at the chickens. As I said in the last episode, which for me was at the end of last week, I have now got the uh, Place Anywhere mod activated on the map so that I can hopefully clear those two rather annoying humps that were left over. Um, from where the two trees were and we should be able to get some more chicken pens placed down that's our next major task somebody pointed out in the comments on uh, I think it was the end of last week that I'd already forgotten that I'd, all, I'd, I'd established beforehand that if the lorry is hitched on to the trailer when we go to sell anything that is directly above the lorry won't actually um, sell at the sell point and I'd already forgotten about it and you're absolutely right as soon as you mentioned it I did remember so there's that that we need to sort of take into account so what we're going to do first is we're going to go to let's go to you because we're not going to use the baler for a second we do want a trailer if I can get back to it before we go um, before it tries to turn around that would be better um, I suppose it doesn't really matter too much, does it? Oops. Okay, let's let's go backwards and not forwards. Um, also, on the Discord channel, Maverick Gamers posted up a post along with a screenshot. I had trouble in the live stream on the Western Australia map. We went and had a look and we couldn't... Um, we, 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 we couldn't do everything that I wanted to do on the map. We couldn't Ted the hay. It was making funny. It, 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 it was funny. It was, it was doing that bit where it misses bits. Now, somebody said on the live stream that that is to do with... I'm just going to here and I'm switching off crop destruction. There. Right. A lot of people do consider crop destruction to be uh, far too OP for the game. Um, and it, it's too OP compared to what it is in real life. So a lot of people, even those who play quite realistically, do tend to play with crop destruction off. From what I've been told, from what I've sort of, um, from what I understand in comments and so on. Um, so get in the comments section. 
are you a full realism type player when you're playing your own game you play in solo mode are you full realism do you go for as much realism as you possibly can do you like mods that um are just sort of uh, quality of life improvements i mean i consider auto load trailers to be quality of life improvements um or are you for the massive mods that um make huge alterations to gameplay um and go for uh, quite unrealistic sort of approach to gameplay and everybody has their own unique style um, me a lot of you know when I play the game on my own I tend to go for the likes of Stevie's mods that just basically make everything with larger capacities and go a little bit faster it just speeds things along a little bit and I don't consider those to be um, game breaking unrealism type things I consider those to be a quality of life improvement for a solo player so i'm not, especially as my own personal gaming time is very very limited i do consider that to be just something you know it's, it's a time saver it speeds things up it allows me to do more different more tasks um and get further along in the game i tend to do this with a lot of games that i play um anything that just slightly speeds up the gameplay it tend those are the options i tend to go for so that's my style What's your style, and do you consider crop destruction to be an essential part of your gameplay? Do you think it's too OP? Do you not like it? Uh, do you always have it off by default? Um, how do you approach crop destruction? Quite interested in hearing people's views on the crop destruction today. Um, so, what else was I saying? Um... Yeah, so the, the four times maps. Maverick Gamers on our Discord channel. There is a link in the description down below. You can find out more about the Discord channel and um, all the other social media and my website and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in joining the Discord and coming along and, and having discussions with us, I'm on there most mornings. Well, most mornings UK time. I tend to put the Discord on and uh, have a little chat with people that are there before I start my recording while I'm doing other things. So popping in and out. And then also a little bit in the evening, I tend to put the Discord up and I'll have a chat, reply to any um, major topics of conversation during the day, that sort of thing. Um, and I did say that I sort of pop in and out for just a few seconds at a time, but I got severely reprimanded for saying that by the um, admins who are actually the ones who run that. Uh, JJ and Smoodalini in particular. Travis Dudley is Hello World. Uh, the three admins team, right? The, all three of them, they do a massive amount of work on there. There's almost always one of them available there. Um, and as always, I would ask you to please respect them. Those three are highly trusted people. They are heavily involved with running that ad, do uh, all sorts of stuff behind the scenes that nobody ever knows about. Um, they go above and beyond repeatedly all the time. And it is amazing what those three do. So credit where it is definitely due. Those three deserve the utmost respect. Um... But anyway, they, the Discord channel, I'm, so I was told off for saying that I only pop in and out really, really briefly because I, I do go on there for a couple hours in the morning. It sort of feels like I pop in and out because I go on, I answer a couple of questions and then I disappear for a, a, a half an hour while I do some stuff and then I pop back again and then I disappear. Uh, but I am answering comments and stuff and they said that I'm answering comments so I should sort of make a point of pointing out that I'm I'm there a lot and answering comments and speaking to people so I'm I'll just say that now I, I you know a couple hours in the morning hour or two in the evening as well um, and I do go on there a fair bit so if you'd like a chance to have a little chat with me at any point uh, get onto the discord server uh, like I said there's a link below it's actually a link to a video and then you'll find the link on the video um, uh, but anyway, Maverick Gamers, he posted up a fantastic screenshot of him tedding some hay on a four times map. You know, I ought to do something while I'm talking. I, I do get told off for this by everybody that watches my videos. Um, he posted up a beautiful, wonderful screenshot of him doing some tedding whilst on a four times map. And going at every angle, I might add. Right? Every angle. Now, I can do this because I have the Place Anywhere mod, so um, I'm just going to level that bit out. I'm not going to do any more for a minute. We're going to go over and we're going to have a look. See if we can see the errant piece of 
tree stump that was left behind that stopped us from doing anything there. And it's on the Don Diego map. He said it's a very, very basic map. It's a very simple map. But they've done whatever this is, something to do, somebody said in the live stream, it's something to do with the weighting of it. Um, the, the, I don't know what the weight is for the coding. I've no clue. But if anybody is experienced in modding, and or you are a map creator and you're looking at it, um, then these are the people that you need to speak to if you've got no clue how to fix this bug on the four times maps. And it's right there. It's, it, was, it was there in black and white. On the live stream, somebody said about, I can't see anything here that's out of place. Can you? It's all... I, I, can't, I can't see a thing. It doesn't look like there is actually anything here that's missing. There's a piece of something somewhere, but it just I, I can't see anything. So I don't know what's happened with that. Um, so, yeah, the, uh, the, the, the whole live stream thing, we, we've got to do something about these eggs over here. Um... It was right there. People were talking about it. And Maverick Gamers has put up this screenshot. He also, I think he posted a link to the actual um, four times map as well that he was using. It's all there. He's playing on a four times map. And it had, he was able to Ted the Hay properly. Which I, I, I genuinely didn't know was even a thing. And somebody said that there were a couple of maps in... FS17 where people had actually done this and got it right so I, I don't know what it is whether this this whole weight thing is something to do with whether it makes it more laggy or something or may, maybe it has performance like serious performance issues with it I'm not really sure I don't know what I, I don't know what it's about um, it makes no sense to me at all I really genuinely don't understand anything about it but it is there, it is done, and it is possible. So you can have a four times map with a um, with it all set, and you can do grass mowing, tedding, raking, everything all done properly, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm really hoping that whoever made the Western Australia map is able to use this information and update the map with it. That would be genuinely awesome. Because that Western Australia map, I really, really did like it. It was, I mean, it was huge. It was massive scale. Um, and I don't know what I would want, what sort of series I would want to use it. But I do, I kind of want to do a series on it. I was considering it would be quite cool for the, um... Right, we're going, we'll level off this heap here now. See if we can find anything on that. I'm going to zoom right in on it while we do this. Um, but yeah, it's, it's this great big thing that it was available. It, it was, it, you know, it, it sorry, it was available. It, this is Western Australia maps, huge, great big map. It looks absolutely wonderful. It's fantastic. I had a lot of fun live streaming it. Um, but it was, is kind of like, well, how do I use it? You know, I could do this as a time-lapse series. I could have that as like my next time-lapse map. But I'm very much aware that although RSV, the last four times map that I used in the time-lapse series, was popular. A lot of people genuinely loved it and said it was their favorite map of all of the maps that I did. A lot of other people really didn't like it at all because it was so big and because the jobs are all sort of so uh, very much the same. I couldn't really go using Stevie's mods in a time-lapse series because it just wouldn't fit properly. Um, Stevie's mods are too unrealistic for me to use in a time-lapse series. Uh, they're absolutely great and I love them. But I could do it as a replacement to this series. We could go to the four times map, the Australian map, and we could comfortably use Stevie's mods in a series on that. Because that would fit, right? This particular series is not all about absolute realism. We can cut those corners quite happily. Um, and this one is less about realism than the other two series. The other two series... I try to do things as realistically as possible. We've got the Hardcore series. Um, 
which I might add is already proving to not be hardcore enough for quite a few viewers, which has genuinely surprised me. Um, mainly because I'm using like auto load features and things like that. Um, but there are other aspects of it that I'm using uh, and sort of just, just little things I'm doing to make our lives a little bit easier. And there are people who are saying, well, you know, you're moving away from the absolute hardcore that we were wanting. And I got to be honest, I am surprised. Wow. Okay, I ate into the money there. I didn't think that I was using... I, th I just assumed that because I was using the place anywhere, we wouldn't be spending a load of money. And apparently we have spent a load of money. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to go to there. And... Well, we've only got... Oh, no, we've got a little bit of beans. We've got a little bit of... We've got some maize. I could go and sell some maize. We could do that. Uh, how are the eggs at the moment? Eggs are seriously underpriced at just five grand. Wool is low. Five grand is not bad, but six grand is better. However, the port grain elevator, that's, that's acceptable, I think, at, at five grand. Now, we've got three pallets over here now. I've got some more over on that trailer. I want, actually, you know, we could do that. If I take these straps off, like this, look. Here. 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 And I go there, that, and there. Right, I've taken all of the straps off. The only thing that we're not going to have is a quick load for the boxes. I don't think you can load two separate lots of stuff. I think you have to unload first, which makes a difference to how it goes on to the trailers. We've got all those... I'm not going to worry about those boxes because I can load those boxes into a pallet easy enough. So if I go to there a second, we've got auto loader select pallets. So now I just need to switch the auto loader on like that. And I go up there. So we've got our first pallet onto there. And I will back down here like this. And we will come up around this way. And ah, okay, it's taking the boxes and it's classing the boxes as pallets at the moment. I'm fine with that, actually. That's actually a really, as far as I'm concerned, that is a good thing that it's doing that. So I'll go along here. I got one full pallet that we've half inched off of that trailer there, and then we can stop. So I'm just going to leave that one there. I'll turn off the load. I'm not going to worry about unloading it. Well, actually, I will. We, we, we all know that I'll do that. We all know that I'll unload it and I'll put the straps on properly because that's what I always do. We'll go and unload this combine a second. It's actually harvested almost all of the field. It's a little bit up that end that it hasn't harvested. But it's done most of it. Which surprises me, to be honest. I thought it would have left more than that. That's, that's a good thing. That is a very good thing. If I can just catch up with the combine here... Uh, nope, full tank, we haven't caught up, that's okay, we'll just do it like this. Um, so, yeah, we've got, we'll get those unloaded and then we'll get more chickens onto the map. That's the next thing that we want is more chickens. We bought more horses last time, which is where we got most of our money from, so we've now got, uh, a, a range of new horses here. And we have, at the moment, we've got Miss Pelt. Nigel Pipe, Jamie O'Connell, Ivelios, Charles, Tonza, Zorta777, and Deuce MS. We've got these three down here. A few more days, we'll be selling those. We'll be changing them over. Uh, I still plan to get rid of the chicken pen we've got over here and replace that with another horse pen. So we'll have 16 horses at any one time on the map, which I thought would be quite cool because we'll be able to get through people's names a little bit faster faster for those of you who don't watch the um time lapse series or if you haven't watched it for a little while i am now mentioning people's names on the time lapse series as well i'm um just adding 10 names to the end of the time lapse video each time i do the time lapse video because i thought that would be quite a good way to add them in on there as well um and so i'm trying to get your names into more and more series as, as well as many as possible, really. 
That's, that's, that's the whole idea. It's, you know, it's, it's the great book of names. I need to use this great book of names. We've gone to all the trouble of creating the great book of names, so we may as well use it. And that's actually quite a cool picture looking over to there, seeing that one tip. We go back over this way a minute, and we want to go to you. Right, so, if I've loaded everything on here, and I've got full egg boxes and everything on here, I next want to just unload that one straight onto the bed, like that. Um, did that unload? No. That's unloaded there. You've just seen, it's just seen the weight all go onto the trailer. So we'll load them onto there. Hopefully those boxes aren't going to move around. And we will run this up the road and we will go to the port where we get five grand per bale. Then we'll come down. We've got a load of bales in that field there. I'm not going... To, obviously, I'm not baling up our other field at the moment. We've got wheat we're pulling off of there. As soon as that wheat is done, we will go for some more oats for our extra horses. I know I should be doing a better crop rotation than just wheat then oats all the time. Um, but it's wheat and oats that we want at the moment. So we're just going to stick with that. We're not going to worry about crop rotations too much in this series. Um, we can do crop rotations in a different series. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I have I, I don't actually state on this series that it's not particularly realistic. I mean, it's, it's kind of a nod towards realism rather than absolute realism. It's, it's, it's kind of how I would describe it, I guess. And just ignore the fact that I've uh, sideswiped the road sites going out there whilst discussing how realistic I like to keep things. Oops, okay, uh, I, I missed the turning. We're going to have to go up and double back on ourselves in order to get to this one. Um, we'll, so yeah, we sell these eggs. That means we'll then be able to buy more chickens. We'll be able to, we want to get some more pallets. Now, the empty pallets, we've got to handle the empty pallets ourselves. But actually, overall, it's not really a bad thing. I was sort of looking at this and thinking about it. Um... As we use the reusable pallets, we've only got to load them onto here. And then all we've got to do once we have the empty pallets back at the farm is we unload them using our loader. And we bring them into the... Um, we, we can sort of spread them out wherever they've got to go using our little forklift. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a great hardship, that bit. Um, it, it, it's, it's fairly easy. Now, it should be... Is it here? No, this, this is where you sell logs. That's the log sell point right there. Somebody sent me a screenshot. Oops. <laughs> My bad. Uh, let's let's lo <laughs> load those back on again. There we go. Right. Um, I turn the loader off. Didn't mean to do that. That wasn't quite part of the master plan. Uh... Oh, it's, it's, it is it is in here. Right. So I will unload those onto the trailer bed. And we will come in here. And you can see they're selling them immediately like that. A few at a time. And then what we've got to do in order to get those to sell is we've got to move the lorry out from underneath. That's how it works. There, and we've sold them as well. So we now have $89,000, which is enough to be able to buy the chicken. So we're going to do that now. I'll, we'll drive back later because we've got to go to the shop and we've got to buy more pallets. So I want to get the chicken pens first. I want two more chicken pens to go in. And we'll bring that one over there. So we've got the Place Anywhere mod, which does make this a little bit cheaper. Um, I'm going to spin that one round so it's facing the same way as the others. Uh, bring that around a bit more and I'm going to set it back a little bit like that. There and then... Right, I don't want to lower it down too far. But that's as high as it... W okay, we'll put it there. See how well that's worked. I'm hoping that's not interfered with that at all. But that's placed that down quite nicely there. Uh, I'd like to put another one back here. But I don't want it to go up there like that. So first up, what we'll do is we'll, we'll get one of these and... 
This one needs to be rotated around like that. And we'll put that one kind of like that, I would guess. So it's, it's kind of near the road. There, like that. That's actually gone higher than I wanted it to. I didn't want it to go out like that. But it'll be okay, because it's it's out close to the edge of the road. So we've just got, like, a line that goes all the way round on those. That should work out quite nicely. And then I've got one in here. I want to just bring that one back around that way a bit. Except I don't have the money for another one. It would be nice to have another one in there, but we don't have the cash for it. Uh, I need to... Yeah, I'd, I'd want to lower that one down like that. Drop that one in there. But we, we we don't have the money for it at all. So we can't do that at the moment. But what we can do is we can go back to the landscaping here. And I've got a couple of important things to do. We want to just level this off around the edge like that. This is probably the most important bit is to just get this smoothed off a bit. We want to get some wood chips over here and spread around over the feed area right there. We need to level this off up this side. It's not quite so important along the back. At least not at the moment. We'll be getting more chicken pens. But two more chicken pens at the moment will do just fine. We can order some more chickens in. We will get the grain over and tipped into them. And we will get the um, get the wood chips spread out. Actually, we might have just enough time to do that today. Uh, and then egg pallets. We need to get the egg pallets placed down. I can actually I can go and take one. I can take a couple of egg pallets. We've already got some here on this trailer. The trailer that we've got here, we're probably not going to need to use that very much. Because we'll be using the autoload trailer. I think the autoload trailer is definitely the best way to go about it, uh, go about sort of doing any of it. Purely because of the way that it works. It's just going to be faster. And we do have to unload the empty pallets and place them around. But that's not a hardship. That's not difficult. It's not going to create any difficulties for us. I'll lower this down here like that. And try and join that. I don't want to get too close to the other chicken pen because I don't want to mess up the wood chips that we've got on there. Bring that back around there like that. Okay. I don't want to lower it too much in front here either, but I want to be able to drive through. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Pretty close to what we would want. Smooth that back a little bit up there. In a couple of weeks' time, on the 15th of March, I will be doing a live stream for a different game. It's not a FS7, uh, FS19 sorry, um, weekend. That weekend, it's a different game. The 13th of March happens to be my very own birthday. So the 15th of March live stream is my birthday live stream. And several people have been asking when it is. So the 15th of March is my birthday live stream. And I have now posted a poll on the channel. If you go to the main channel page and then you go to, uh, I think it's under discussions, you'll be able to see it in there. Right, that's everything that I want to do in there for a minute. I'm going to leave that one where he is for a minute as well. I'm going to take you and we're going to go and get a... I need a couple pallets over here. And I want to get pallets over on the other new ones as well. So we're going to have to move a few of these round. Uh, we could very well end up selling this trailer. I don't think we're really going to need this trailer very much, to be honest. Because we've got this wonderful auto load trailer that we're using instead. So I'll take two off of here. If I can take two. Not quite there. It was pretty close. It was pretty close. But yeah, it's, it's my live stream. My birthday live stream. Quite looking forward to doing this birthday live stream. A lot of people have been asking questions about when it is and um, so on and so forth. So yeah, it's on the 15th. I've been playing in my spare time quite a lot of uh, building games lately. Well, I say, uh, you know, a, a lot of building games. I've been playing 
two building games. I've been playing Conan Exiles, which I started doing in the actual series. I haven't really been doing very, you know, any exploring or anything like that in the Conan Exiles. All I've been doing is I've been building. I've been gathering resources and I've been building. I've got an epic build in there that has gone way beyond what you've seen in the series. It, it's absolute. It's it's. At the moment, it's mostly just a bridge, um, but it's becoming an epic build. And the way that I like to do things whenever I do a solo build in a game, uh, well, solo gameplays, like with the Stevie's mods in here, I speed things up a little bit so that I can cut out some of the grind, but I still got, um, you know, the rest of it. So I've got like 10 times gathering rates on the Conan Exiles game, and... That's about the only change that I've really made, is the 10 times gathering rates, and I've made myself slightly stronger in comparison to enemies, so uh, being able to fight things, if I need to go and get some like elephant hides or something like that, it doesn't take me an hour to bring down an elephant. I can go and do it in a few minutes, and that way, because I only normally get one evening of gaming in an entire week that is just for me that I'm not recording and live streaming um, and stuff like that so I don't have very much time for my own gaming anymore I used to game for hours and hours most of the time that you see me doing all of my recording and stuff that used to be my own personal gaming time I, I used to I, I'd, I'd game every single day and these days I do still game every single day but it's no longer gaming for me, it is now gaming for the channel, and it's gaming for recording, and that's different. I've got a... It's very different presenting a game than it is just playing it for your own chill-out time. So my own chill-out time has been hugely reduced since I started doing all of this, since I started doing this full-time. Um, so I tend to use these speed-up mods a lot more, or uh, speed-up options. Um, so that's what I've done in Conan Exiles, that's one of the options, although it's got to be said, it's not proving to be very popular, a lot of people don't seem to want me to play that. Um, now, the one that everybody seems to, is, to want is that I've also been playing a huge amount of Minecraft lately, and it's really genuinely amazed me the number of votes that I've had already for Minecraft. I said, do you want Minecraft? Do you want Conan Exiles for my birthday live stream, or do you want me to play a different game? And if you do want a different game, by all means, vote different game and tell me in the comment on there what game you'd like it to be. So I've had a few other suggestions, such as Ark Survival and Factorio, both of which are games that I do play. I haven't played Ark Survival for quite a while, admittedly, but I do the same on there. I put it on a solo server, I speed things up so it doesn't take... 20 hours to um, tame a large dinosaur it takes me 15 minutes to tame the very biggest dinosaur and the small ones that's just like a, a couple of minutes and it's job done and that's how I like to play my games uh, so Ark Survival I've played that quite a bit on my own as well uh, but it's it's not one that I've offered up today because I haven't played it for absolutely ages. There's a whole load of new stuff in Ark Survival that I'm not aware of. I didn't really want to be learning a new game for the stream. So I've just offered up Minecraft and Conan. At the moment, Minecraft is way, way out in front. Now, there is an option in Minecraft these days to have an extreme setting, which is basically, it does state that you need quite a beefy computer, and my computer is really struggling to run this map. Um, I've had to dial down the view distance and the render distance just so that I can get it to run a little bit better. Um, so I'll probably dial it down a, a fraction more for doing the live stream. The li it, it, at the moment, it does look like I'll be doing Minecraft, my birthday live stream. And I do the same on Minecraft as I do in the other games. I speed it up a little bit. Uh, I like to play in survival mode, and I like to, mostly I just do with the basic game. I don't really have very much in the way of extra mods, although I'm thinking I'll probably get a mod pack ready for the birthday live stream. And the, uh, what I generally do now is I will, for those of you, those of you who don't play Minecraft or not interested in Minecraft, it's not going to make any difference to you. Um, but those of you who do, what I do is I play the game normally. I start up and I play the game normally until I find my first diamond. 
I mine my first diamond and then I switch over to creative mode and I generate myself a chest full of diamonds, um, diamond picks, axes and swords with really good enchantments on them. So I've got uh, like, a, a, I, don't, I don't know how many you put in the chat, I think it's like eight, maybe nine um, pickaxes that have all got the um, efficiency five so that you mine, uh, mine a bit faster. So it's efficiency five and it's got the, oh, what's the other one? The, not looting, fortune, fortune three on it and unbreaking three as well. So I've got like the best enchantments that you can get on a pickaxe. Now it's possible to go and get that by playing the game, but it takes, in order to be able to get your pickaxe up to that kind of standard, you've probably got 30 hours of gameplay, um, which is mostly just grind, right? You've got 30 hours of uh, a grindy type of gameplay that I have done many, many times in the past, and I don't want to keep doing that. That's, that's the bit of gameplay that I sort of do because I got to, and I want to skip. So what I do now is I get to my first diamond, so I dig all the way down, I get to the diamond, then instead of spending 20 hours um, digging tunnels, my, looking for diamonds, mining for diamonds, I skip all of that and I just give myself a chest full of diamonds and pickaxes and axes and I, I don't go with the shovels because they tend to dig too fast. Uh, so that's the stage I'm at now. I've done that. I've gone all the way down to the bottom and I found the diamonds. I've now generated my uh, chest full of diamonds. So I've got uh, diamond weapons and um, tools with some good enchantments on them. And I've got diamond armor. I don't put any enchantments on the armor. I just have diamond armor. Um, I figure that if I want enchantments on the armor, I will do that via like the normal way of earning your enchantments and, and all that kind of thing. So I haven't, I don't do that bit. The enchantments um, on the armor, there is none. And so then, I, as soon as I've got that chest full of stuff, I switch it back over to survival mode, which is now what what I've got it on now. I'm now back on survival mode, and I start playing again. I've got this extreme. I can't remember what it is. It's not Extreme Hills. It's, it's definitely not called Extreme Hills because that's like a biome. Um, but it, it, basically it's the entire setting for the game, for the map, is done extreme. The X, Y stuff is all really stretched out. So you've got these massive columns and huge mountains absolutely everywhere. It really does slow down your computer a lot. Um, and it really does make it struggle. It's absolutely awesome. So I spent probably the best part of 10 hours digging out a staircase all the way to the top of one of the pillars just so that I can get to the top of one of these mountains. Um, it's all done in normal survival mode, how I like to do it. Um, and we got all, I got all the way up to the top. And now the next bit that I want to... Hang on a minute. What colour chickens have we got at the moment? We've got whites and we've got browns. So we go for blacks on these. Uh, those right there, and now I want to add a load in, so yeah, I've, um, I've got to the top, and my next step is to build a castle on top of the mountain, I've laid out the foundation for this castle, um, and I'm not using anything special for it, I tend to do all of my builds just out of cobblestone and oak planks and maybe a few oak logs as well, I know that some people go all out on making their builds look as beautiful as possible. I don't tend to do that. Oops. It's not going to let me do that because I've only got five grand here. Hang on. Hang on. We, we need some more money. Are you going to let me have more money now? We can borrow some more. Excellent. Right. Let's borrow what we get. Let's go up to 800,000 because we'll be able to pay this back. Right. We will be able to pay this back. So now we've got 60 grand. I don't want to do that. I'm going to go here. And right there. Okay. So, yeah, this is the plan for March the 15th, which is going to be when I'll be doing the birthday live stream. It looks like it's going to be Minecraft because over 200 votes so far and well over 70% of the vote has gone for Minecraft. So those of you who really hate Minecraft, 
Uh, I'm hoping I will see you the week after the birthday stream because it looks like my birthday stream is going to be Minecraft. Genuinely never thought that I would ever be asked to stream Minecraft full stop. Um, being asked to stream Minecraft for my birthday stream is a bit of a surprise to say the least. Now, I'm going to go up to $10,000 worth of chickens right there. That's $13,000 altogether. Confirm right there. So we've got $10,000 worth of chickens, which gives us 200 chickens. We'll go over and we'll get 10k in the next one as well. We'll go for brown chickens in this one. Come over to you. We, then we want to put some animals in here. Uh, right. That's not for another two weeks, though. Right? It's two weeks on Friday that the birthday stream is. The next stream this week is going to be Elite Dangerous. And then the next uh, the stream next week, unless something new comes out, is going to uh, we will be doing a smaller map. I've done a really big map. I did the Western Australia map in the last stream. And I did a big map before that in the Montana one. And I was um, going all out with Stevie's mods on uh, both of those streams. This time we're going to be doing uh, the... Is it Marwell? It, it's Marwell... Marwell Manor, is it? I think it's Marwell Manor, I think is the name. Um, but unless something else happens or something else really cool comes up, uh, we'll be doing the Marwell map. And uh, we'll be doing our live stream on that one next week. This week is Elite Dangerous. That's the one. I've had several people asking me to play Elite Dangerous. Now, I've never played Elite Dangerous, so I have no idea what it's like. Um, but I've heard various things. I did take a brief look at it, and it reminds me a bit of EVE Online. Now, I spent a lot of time playing EVE Online, and I really, really enjoyed it. That should be 350 chickens right there. Let me go. Hang on. We'll go all the way up. We'll go to 400 chickens on here. It's a lot of button pushes, this is. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to Elite Dangerous. Never having played it... No idea what it's going to be like. So there's 20,000 worth of new livestock. We've got brown chickens there. 400. And then we've got the black one. So I want another 200 in the black chickens. And that'll be all of our chickens bought. Rather than waiting for them to breed up. It'll just be quicker if we do it like this. Uh, black chickens on here. So I need to do another $10,000 worth of chickens. Which is 13,000 altogether. Um... Uh, but yeah, Elite Dangerous this week, and then Marble Manor map next week for the live streams, and then the following week, my birthday live stream is going to be Minecraft. Unless things drastically change, I'm actually going to be streaming Minecraft for my birthday live stream, which I'm still genuinely surprised at. It's got to be said, I am genuinely surprised that I've had this many responses and this higher percentage of people wanting me to stream Minecraft. I'm quite pleased about it, it's got to be said, because I've been um, playing it quite a bit and I, I quite like the idea of being able to show off my new um, Minecraft map that I've been doing and I've been working on. So, um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm not disappointed at the result of this, I, it's got to be said. So there is all of our chickens. The next thing we want to do is... Actually, before I put the food in, so I want to go and do the wood chips bit first. Uh, how shall I do this? I got a load of wood chips there, and then I could spread. Hang on, I, kn I know how we can do this. I know how we can do this. We just leave you. It's it's going to be quicker, right? It's going to be quicker if I do it like this. It's not ideal, because it's going to leave us with a huge pile of wood chips stuck somewhere, but that I can live with. So if I hit you on the back of this one, all right, this, this little Fiat right here is quite a powerful tractor. You go right there, unfold that one, and that'll go over to there, and instant fill there. Then we can unfold this one again and we'll go and put that one back. So we don't need that one anymore. We'll put the Fiat with it. See, it's very, very slow, this old tractor, but it's surprisingly powerful. It's quite cool. I like that. 
And then we can come, uh, we go to you. And now I want to go and tip a little bit on each of those feeding areas. I don't want to tip too much. But at the same time, I didn't really want to load it up little tiny bit by little tiny bit with our bucket down that end. But anyway, we're going to have to do the tipping out of this in our next episode because we've run out of time for today's episode. So obviously, once again, thoughts and opinions on anything that I've talked about in the comments section. Tell me what you think. And don't worry, be honest. As so long as you don't use bad language, um, which will automatically get deleted, there's filters in place. So bad language gets automatically deleted. But if you don't like what I've done or said, tell me you don't like it. Because I can't change anything unless I know what you don't like. And that just goes without saying at all times on anything that I do. If you don't like it, then tell me. I can't change anything if you don't tell me. But if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.